everybody. This is Chris from Cell Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to make a fun, easy, cheap, and an activity that you will be able to do with your kids as well. So it's in four in one tutorial. It's not brand new what I'm going to show you. It's out there. It has been out there for a while, but I've wanted to give it a try and see if it works by myself and if it does work and it's so fun to do and you will be able to do great stuff. So we're going to do some marbling on paper using very, very few materials that you already have home, I'm sure. So um, before showing you the examples, or I'm, I'm going to show you the examples first, maybe. Not this one, I'm going to show you these afterwards. So these are made with um, food coloring. The one that you buy, you know, these little packs are for. You can use that, it's going to work just fine, and it works even better because it dries very quickly. So this is the look, depending on the colors you like, that you're going to be mixing together. And I did all these cards I'm going to show you just in one batch, just adding a little bit more color. If you don't like, you can throw it away, put more foam, more shaving cream, and change the colors because it might get muddy. This one is more subtle. And this is another one here. This one is made with um, dye inks and a little bit of acrylic. This one is made, I don't like that one that much, but that can be an interesting part because you can use these different parts in a project. This is a mix with both. And this is really not good, but it's a good example. I need to show you that when you use acrylics, you're not going to use exactly the same technique at before it dries. This is only made with acrylics. So the colors are much uh, sharper and brighter with acrylics. And the look of it also, the feel of it, it's a shame you can't really feel it, but it's there's a more there's more like a texture to it, a little bit. These are other examples. So I'm just going through very, very quickly. Um, you can watch these again. And this one as well, I put much more acrylic in here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the um, the look of it, there's some kinds of little tiny little holes in here, uh, like mini bubbles, and I really like the texture to it, but I put a lot on it. So, and what can you do with this? Well, you can use these as you would use in a regular paper project for scrapbookers, and you can put them into cards, and I'm going to show you just one example I've made here. So I've used the background like this, and I've just used the stamped, colored it up with some kids, um, sharp, uh, not Sharpies, I didn't use Sharpies, but markers, washable wa markers, and I've just put a little coat on Mod Podge, glossy Mod Podge on it. I need to put another layer because it's not really well done, but I wanted this to dry first. It's maybe too dark, and if you don't like what I've done here, that's totally fine. Just do what you would like to do. It's a project that I share with you because it's really easy to do and it's very fast also. And you can, I'm going to put this on a card, but I don't know yet if I'm going to use a white background. My card is already folded. And if, or if I use a green one. I've tried yellow, it's not nice pink I didn't like either but I like the green it's maybe too too green I don't know tell me in the comments below what you prefer between the white might I might go to the white because there's a lot of green already but it's I like it it's a bit too dark I hope you will be able to still see some of the colors inside here but this is an example what you can do you can also die cut here a piece of flower and use it on something else so like you would do with your regular uh, background papers you can use these papers as well so you will need a tray any kind of tray because I've cut my paper into A4 si um, A2 letter size I'm gonna use a small tray it's gonna be easier for me I'm gonna use um, some food coloring I'm going to use also some acrylic paint, any brand. I've got different brands here, but whatever you have, cheap ones will do the trick. You can use also alcoholic inks, like for your stamps, your refills, you can use that. And I've seen somewhere uh, quite a long time ago that you could use um, fabric dyes in the exact manner that we're, I'm going to show you now. And it does uh, dye fabric very well. You're going to use also some kind of squeegee, or here I'm going to use a ruler to scrap off the shaving cream. 
I'm going to use this kind of foam. It's an artist foam. It's really old and all yicky, but uh, it's clean, but it's stained. So you're going to be able to make some lines in here. You can use a regular comb if you have an old one you don't want to use anymore. Uh, a paintbrush or a skewer if you want to make some swirls and give it a design. And I think it's almost it. Yeah, you might want to have um, some paper towels or something to brush your hands or clean your hands while you're doing this. Okay, so first I'm going to give it a good shake to my shaving cream. And again, shaving cream, not a gel. Okay, it won't work if you're do using some gel. Cheap one, perfect. And you're going to cover up here. And I've worked with this bottle yesterday and uh, again this morning and uh, honestly you don't use that much and I do I've done all these cards I think I've got 25 or so um, just with one batch so I'm gonna use the food coloring first and I'm gonna put a few drops here and I'm not gonna level this up I'm gonna leave it as is because it's gonna give me another kind of pattern to it so it's gonna be interesting too so I'm just and don't put too much when you're starting because it can become a big mess like a muddy color very quickly so be careful with what you're uh, how much you're using and I'm gonna use some yellow here because if it goes in the blue it's gonna be green so that'll be fine and um, what else a little bit of red and we'll see if it goes right or not. I've used just two colors in my other, in the ones I showed you. Mainly it was green and yellow because I didn't want to make a big mud. And now I'm going to start using the back of my paintbrush and doing a few things randomly here. I'm not trying to do any kind of pattern because you, once you're going to put your paper on here, it's not really going to stay the same way. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to use my paper that I already used before and now I'm going to put my cards here one after the other I'm just going to put it on top of it and I'm going to press here just to make sure that it's going to cover it up well and there are going to be some white spaces which I like and just pull it back you don't need to wait for this and this is how it's going to look like. And I would leave this to sit like this for a couple of minutes, two or three minutes, so the um, the food coloring sticks, sucks into the paper, goes into the paper. And then it will go flat. See, I didn't do anything to it. It's just flat. So I'm going to give it another try. I'm not going to do anything else here. I'm just going to move my paper around a little bit. I've got only one paper here. Yeah. And it's just um, a paper that I use for card making. It's not a very thick one, but it's not a copy paper either. Just a little, you know, heavier. It doesn't have to be a an expensive piece of paper. I'm gonna move it a little bit around. And then you'll have it. Now I'm gonna swirl again and it seems like even though there's red and all these colors in here, it's not too muddy yet. So I'm just going to make some fun things here. Another piece of paper. And every time, you can call this moto printing because every time you'll have a different pattern. And here it doesn't look like anything, but you'll see afterwards. So I'm just going to do a few more and change maybe a little bit the direction of my paper. And if you miss the spot and you feel like there is a big white area, you can always come back right now or wait afterwards and hit your paper again. If you think that you need a more, more paint here, for example, I'm just up putting it back on. 
and it's going to be kind of a surprise there's no control in here which is or not too much with your swirls you can do some kind of pattern but i like when there's it's totally organic and then you decide to put what you want on it and start doing something maybe a little more serious but i like to have just fun here and i'm going to put all this in some kind of a pattern here like if it was a flower and see what it goes if it does work or not because you just need to have fun with this right your kids are gonna love it fun 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 oops mm, I don't think it made any pattern maybe on everything went on one side it's it might be interesting we'll see and I've got a big blob here I'm gonna put back in okay and I'm gonna use my tool here to see which one am I gonna use no 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 let's see and this tutorial does not does not intend to be something professional that is very serious it's just to have fun and I've got big holes but it's okay these two big holes there but that's fine you could do this on an envelope too let me pause the video because there's a lot of noise right now and I'll be back oh it's just stopped sorry about that hmm I've got two big gaps here but I think I'm gonna leave it as is I need to find another area when I could put this on let me see that's good I'm gonna go put do a few more and I'm gonna go the other way And let's see, I could use also the paint that I've I've got here and maybe try to do something directly. I don't have enough. It's making like a um, very subtle, but no, it's not going to be great. I'm going to stop it here or I'll do it later, maybe off camera. I'm going to take this away. That's too much. I don't really have the square I wanted so I'm gonna try it that way oh yeah I like that let's see and I'm really not pushing hard and don't worry if it's staying on the back if you're using this as a card you're gonna stick this piece on your card so you won't be able to see anything Oh, that's a shame I've got a big white space here um, well you know what I'll take advantage of that and I will put a flower or something on here or a sticker like I don't know yet uh, maybe a um, uh, what you call it a uh, sentiment or something now I'm gonna take everything away you know what I'm gonna try and take this uh, no, I'm going to do a big mess. So I'm going to go and clean this up and I'll be back with some clean shaving cream and we're going to use the acrylics. Okay, so I'm back with clean shaving cream. I'm going to put some more here. And we're going to do the same thing uh, with some acrylics. Or I might use first dye base inks. It's going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to use different colors. And you can mix, mix and match your colors. Because I've tried acrylics with the food coloring and it does work together. And I might do just two colors here. Less is usually more. And I'm just going to swirl around here like that. And you could do black because you already have the white of your cardstock. So if you're using just black, it will, it will be like two colors as well. Um, so I'm going to use more paper here. So it might stain your, um, your hands a little bit. So if you're working with kids, be careful with their clothes. Especially if you're using the uh, 
dye base inks like this, the alcoholic inks. Okay, it works as well. We'll see how it goes afterwards when it's time to take it, everything off. And on this side, I am going to use some black. Is this black? I don't know if it's black or gray. Let me see. No, it's more gray color. Hey, why not? And I think if it's more, no, not black. Huh. We're just gonna do gray and white because if I add any color to this, like yellow, it gonna, it's, it's gonna turn yicky. Maybe a little bit of red, maybe a little bit of red. And if it's not nice, you know what, we'll throw it away. We, get, we need to give it a try. I don't think the first print is gonna be that ugly, but the next one, yes. Let's give it a little swirl again. And I always put back my paintbrush or your skewer into water so it cleans up very fast. I'm not sure I'm going to like that, but we're going to give it a try. Paper. to see afterwards. I'm going to turn this around and put some more on this side. Maybe for a cards man you can use browns and blues. That would be nice as well. Uh, I'm going to mix them both. Let's see. It's really fun to do. It's kind of relaxing. And then I will do my last one and we'll start taking the shaving cream off our papers. So as I, as I was saying, this is not meant to be um, art because some people say this is art not art it's just nothing there's no creativity yes you mix the colors and you're going to use it for a background this is creativity so some people think that art is just poo poo or art is poo poo crafters but don't be poo pooed there's no way you're going to be poo pooed as long as you create that's good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my ruler as a squishy but a squeegee sorry and I'm going to start taking away that paint. But what might happen with acrylics is that because it's not dry yet, it's going. To, I'm going to scrape it again, and it's not going to be as nice. Let's give it a try. Be, do it straight. Yes, and that's exactly what happened. Do you see these strikes here? It's not really nice. So what I'm using acrylic inks, uh, acrylic paint. What I do is I just leave the, um, the shaving cream on top until it completely disappears. Because otherwise you're going to scrape the paint off and it's not going to be nice. So when you're using acrylic, leave it as is. Okay? So um, I'm going to use the one where I didn't use the acrylics. Only the, um, the food coloring. And I'm going to clean my ruler. And that's much nicer. This is much nicer. It's crisper. Okay. Give it away. And there's not much color in here, but you could do something with it. Or it, when it's dry, you can come back and do some more. Or even now, you could do some more if you wanted to. The colors may not match really nicely, but you could do it. Um, what did I have in here? I think I had acrylics. And I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, it's not that bad. There's some little gaps in here, but you can use this to put some embellishments on it as a card. Again, it's a background, so you might put a lot of things on top of it. But I really think it's nice. And look, you made it yourself. And people are not going to know that it was just shaving cream and food coloring or little drops of acrylics. It's really nice. And you can also use, um, you know, the metallic acrylics if you wanted to. So let's take this one out because this one really looks nice already. And the shaving cream, that was the first one I did, almost disappeared. It's really hot where I live. So I guess this is why I don't want to scrape too much. 
because you see what's what's happening with the acrylics I hope you can see that because it's not dry yet I'm just taking the big part of it with I'm slightly barely touching the paper and look at that you're going to be using this paper for many projects I'm sure because they're so beautiful there's another one I want to try this one maybe let's see just re barely barely touching and there's maybe some foam left here and there but look at that how nice and when you leave that foam on the acrylics what might happen it doesn't happen all the time is these these little bubbles I showed you in the beginning and now let's see with the the alcohol inks how it works because I haven't tried before so I can see that it's not dry yet but maybe it's dry underneath oh this is not clean nope nope it's like the acrylics you need this you need your foam to, to totally evaporate because I'm doing some strikes am I using the right word strikes stripes you see here I'm pushing pulling away the paint and this is not something I want to do so leave it completely to um, and let the, the shaving cream totally dissolve it's it's nice to do what I'm doing only with the food coloring not with the acrylics or the uh, the other colors or just barely touch the paper and I'll go back on top of this one because I didn't take everything hey do you remember the one I did you know all the the strips I did coming back to the center it's not perfect but we can kind of see it so I really love these projects and again if I show you the project I did in the beginning you can use this as a background and uh, maybe do some stamping on it or coloring or maybe in one of your projects like in this one I had done previously I can see a flower in here with some petals and um, the colors on my camera are so bright this is unbelievable it's not as bright in real life but I can see some petals here and draw over with a marker or something to make it revealed and this could be a fish you know look at that that could be a fish on this way on this side a very tropical fish so it can be whatever you see and draw something out of it really nice patterns and I've used much more color here than there so I would I would use less colors just look at this one there's only two colors in here and I really like the look of it I think more colors kill the colors and I like the stripes I thought I had more oh I wanted to do this one hold on a second this one looks great oh at least with the foam it looks great I don't know how it's gonna be underneath oh, I hope I'm not gonna destroy everything but I want to share this with you I'm barely barely touching the paper oh yes it's like a foggy mist something and I haven't taken um, all the foam but it's really nice the way it went you see how it's really oh I love it I like that one too oh I think I every one of them are so special and of course yes you think the acrylics is much uh, intense but honestly just the food coloring um, is good it's good maybe put more if you think it's too subtle it looks nice this one I really like it so yes give it a try make some cards make some dies cut some dies out of here to make a flower that would be just great you can do brown and blues or browns on one side or blues for a man that could be a background for anybody and just with your kids and it's just fun to do and kind of relaxing with this foam and it smells good too I mean does the paper smell yeah the paper smells good so yeah again cheap shaving cream the um, the fluffy one not the gel the better it is it's not supposed to be something expensive and you're gonna do some wonderful stuff after that please leave me some comments if you have any questions or if you have some other ideas you could also put a make this into a jewelry piece I'm sorry I'm just 
digressing, but you know, cut a circle here with a hole punch and make it a pendant and some um, um, glass over it. That would be nice too. You choose the place you want it, but that would be wonderful. I may be going to do that. So there you have it. Leave me some comments if you have any questions or just say hello. I love when you come and say hello. And I'll always come back to you and answer your questions or anything else. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the bell button to get the notifications. And yes, share. Sharing is caring. And I will put some other photos at the end of the video to show you some other projects I have done with these backgrounds as soon as they dry completely. See you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.